Yes everyone, that is right, Mewtwo's gonna have Legacy Moves, Hyper Beam, and Shadow Ball. Those are exclusive only to the EX Raid system for people who have done Mewtwo EX Raids. And you can actually TM your Mewtwo's now to get those moves, but once Mewtwo comes out September 20th, those are no longer going to be moves that Mewtwo can learn. They're exclusive only. So what does that mean? Well, that means its exclusive move, Psy Strike, is going to be coming. But we're going to get into that in a minute. Let's just go ahead and revamp Mewtwo and go over some counters as well. This is going to be your full preparation guide so you can whoop Mewtwo's butt and try to get a good IV one with Psy Strike. Again, we'll go over Psy Strike just in a second. So Mewtwo, if you guys just weren't aware, 3982 max CP, 300 attack, 182 defense, 193 stamina. It is the most powerful Pokemon in the game in terms of attack power, 300. It's weak to bug, dark, and ghost, and that's going to lay the foundation for our counters. Let's go ahead and look at the moves. We've got Confusion Shadow Ball, best possible cycle damage. Of course, Shadow Ball and Hyper Beam again are going to be uh, exclusive moves, legacy moves. Now, here's something that's interesting. I personally believe that Psycho Cut is better than Confusion because if we look at here, it's EPS, which is energy per second, is 13.3 as opposed to Confusion is 9.4. So you're like, Fit City, energy per second. What does that mean? That means that Psycho Cut's going to build your charge bar up quicker, therefore meaning you're going to be able to use your charge move faster. And Psycho Cut's a good move. It really shreds. I feel like it's a lot better with Confusion. With Psycho Cut, you could dodge a lot easier because it's a quicker move. Confusion takes 1.6 seconds to go off. I mean, let's be honest here. Psycho Cut is definitely the better move, so keep that in mind. Even when Psy Strike comes out, you'll want Psycho Cut and Psy Strike. Because right now, B2 only has Psychic, and Psychic kind of stinks. But uh, Niantic did pretty say that, uh, or didn't say anything about Focus Blast, so it's going to keep Focus Blast. Now, with out of the way, let's go over some of the counters. And let's go ahead and start with the Bug Type Pokemon. And you can probably already tell, well, what kind of Bug Type Pokemon you want to use? Pinsir, for sure. Pinsir is one of the best Bug Type Pokemon in the game. 2770, 238, 197, stamina 130. So it's kind of a glass cannon. Let's go ahead and go over its moves. What moves are you looking for? You want Bug Bite and X Scissor. Bug Bite being a 5 power move, kind of like a water gun and then x scissor 45 three bars so you want bug bite x scissor a total of 20 cycle dps and only takes three seconds to get off uh bug bite and then one x scissor so pincer is definitely going to be one of your better pokemon to use and now there's another bug pokemon that comes into mind and it's probably the only other one you want to use you think i would hit heracross but the answer is no because Mewtwo Psychic, you could use Heracross, but those Psychic moves deal super effective damage against Heracross, so it's going to be Scizor. Now Scizor would be weak to uh, Focus Blast, but a lot of Pokemon on this list will be weak to Focus Blast, so just don't worry about it really. Scizor is a beast, 2801, 236 attack, 191 defense, a stamina 140, a little bit better than uh, Pinsir, but not by much. And of course, it's going to have the same move, or actually it's a different moveset, Fury Cutter and X Scissor with a 19.42 cycle DPS. But if we look at Fury Cutter, it has an energy gain per second of 15, which is insane. So you're going to be using X Scissor a lot, therefore we're dealing a lot of DPS. And also, Scissor doesn't take very effective damage against the Psychic move, so it's going to be tanking those hits a lot as well. So we're Scissor and Pinsir, if you have two really good ones, uh, throw those in your team. Now let's go ahead and go into the Dark type Pokemon, and this one's going to be kind of obvious. We can't go with Alola Muck, unfortunately, because it's poison and it's weak against uh, the Psychic moves. You could use Umbreon, but Umbreon's only going to tank. Uh, Houndoom actually is not a bad choice if you're going for Dark type Pokemon. 224 attack, 159 defense, 150 stamina. It is going to tank those uh, Psychic moves, so keep that in mind. And what you're looking for is Snarl and Foul Play. 21.87 cycle DPS, that was higher than Scizor's, even though its tax stats a little bit lower. And Snarl's EPS, 10.9, not bad. Uh, you could go with Crunch because it's got three bars and does 70 damage. And the fact of the matter is, is you might be able to get three Crunch bars, which is going to be 220 as opposed to two foul plays which is gonna be 140. I know you guys have heard me talk about that in the past with however many bars there are 
you could probably get more off and do more damage in total with just one, two bars as opposed to one. In this case, you might be able to get more crunches off, which means three bars, and do 210 cycle damage as opposed to 140, because you might not be able to get that third foul play off. Do you see guys, where I'm coming from? So, I would say Snarl Foul Play or Snarl Crunch, it depends on your type of gameplay, actually. Now, there's one more Dark-type Pokemon you guys have probably already know. It's Titar, Tyranitar. Tyranitar is a beast. There's obviously some more Pokemon like Shiftry with a Dark-type moveset. Actually, wouldn't be that bad. But, of course, Tyranitar is four times weak to fighting, so watch out for that Focus Blast. I would actually avoid using this Pokemon. You guys know Tyranitar stats. It's a beast, and you want Bite and Crunch, so we won't go over that. Now, there's one last typing that does super effective damage against Mewtwo, and that's Ghost, and Gengar. Now, the interesting thing with Gengar, I mean, look at that attack stat, I feel like a lot of people forget this, 261, I feel like a ton of people forget that. Gengar is a monster. Now, the best moveset is Shadow Claw, it rips, it's one of the biggest cycle DPSs in the entire game. Shadow Claw Shadow Ball is one of the most feared movesets in the entire game as far as overall power, especially with getting a guard with that 261 attack stat backing it. But if you don't have a Shadow Claw, Shadow Claw Gengar, you can go with Hex, and Hex is not that far behind. Uh, it's almost uh, almost one full cycle DPS second behind. But uh, yeah, Hex, Shadow Ball, Shadow Claw, Shadow Ball. Uh, having a team of full Gengars are going to deal a lot of DPS. Now there is another ghost type Pokemon that you can uh, go to. Let's see, uh, Bandit actually isn't that bad. It's got 218 attack stat and it has access to, you guessed it, Shadow Claw and Shadow Ball. 23.77 cycle DPS. Now it's not as tanky as, uh, as Gengar is because Gengar of course isn't that tanky but Bandit's defense is only 127 whoops so the fact of the matter is what would you have your team full of okay so I would definitely have one or two pincers or one or two uh, scissors because even though uh, Mewtwo has focus blast you're gonna be able to counter those pretty evenly and take the damage next up I would have a Houndoom for sure um, at least one I would have a Tyranitar for sure at least one even if it has focus blast do that DPS and throw a Gengar in there, or maybe even a good uh, Bandit, and you're going to be one step closer to really whooping Mewtwo. I'm going to throw uh, another one out there, a Mewtwo with Shadow Ball. Since it's going to be an exclusive move, you have a very powerful Mewtwo, you max one out. Give it Shadow Ball, keep it at Shadow Ball, because that's going to be a legacy move. And Shadow Ball Mewtwo will be able to wreck regular Mewtwo that you're going up against, and uh, it's going to tank all those moves that that Mewtwo will be giving you because it doesn't take very much uh, damage from Psychic moves since it is Psychic itself and same thing with Focus Blast because fighting does not deal that much damage to Psychic. Now one last thing we were talking about. Psy Strike, right? Thankfully we have that in the database. There's Psy Strike right there. How good of, is Psy Strike going to be in Pokemon Go? Niantic hasn't uh, officially announced it yet but Psy Strike, it's an exclusive move to Mewtwo, it's gonna be in the game, it's gonna be announced soon, and that's the move that Mewtwo is gonna get since the other two are gonna be Legacy. Now, it's kind of interesting, all the stats are on the right side here, so bear with me. It's got a power of 100, energy cost of 50, it takes 4.4 seconds to go off, and it's a two bar charge move. It has two bars, so in total, if we go to the bottom here, uh, let's see, it's stab, cy cycle power, here we go. Stab with cycle power, it's 240. If it has a weather boost, it's 288. So cycle power means using uh, whatever move you're using. Uh, well, actually, it's just simply using two bars. It's using the two bars, which is one full cycle. It's a two bar charge move, one full cycle. It does 240 damage, that's with stab. And then with weather, it does 288. Now, I was having a discussion with one of my uh, coworkers at GoHub. Is it better than the other two moves that Mewtwo can potentially learn? And that is going to be Future Sight. Uh, Mewtwo can actually learn Future Sight in the main series game. So let's see how good Future Sight is. Well, if we go over here, it's only one bar. It has a cycle power of only 144 and a cycle power with weather boost, uh, 172.8. So that's considerably smaller than 
uh, Psy Strike, right? So it looks like Psy Strike will be better than Future Sight because in a raid or in a gym battle, you might only get one Future Sight off, but you'll probably get two Psy Strikes off, which means you're going to be doing more damage. Now, the last one is Psy... Sh I believe it's Psy Shock. Yeah, it was Psy Shock. Probably a movie you guys don't remember too much of. Psy Shock. It's, uh, I believe it's a 3-bar charge move? Uh, it might be 2. It has a power of 65. And then if we go over here, Stab, 234. That's just a regular cycle power. And then, uh, with Weather, 280.8. So this is actually better than Future Sight as well. Now remember, Psy Strike had 240. This is 6 lower. And then Stab had 288. So, the jury is in, the judge is striking the hammer, Psy Strike is going to be the best sidekick move in the game for overall DPS, viability, and versatility. Absolutely. Even though one charge bar takes 4.4 seconds, which seems like a long time, Dazzling Gleam takes a long time, it's a 2 bar 100 power fairy charge move, and that's really good. It's just Psy Strike's going to be a little long to take off. But it's going to deal with the overall most cycle power, making it the best psychic move in the game. So that's what you have looking forward to. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Sorry if this video is a little long. I'm informing you guys how you can whoop that Mewtwo. Look forward to Psy Strike being the best psychic move in the game. I hope you guys are pumped for it. Let me know in the comments down below. Smash that like button, it really helps me out. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm always doing these types of informational videos, letting you guys know what to look forward to. And my speculations are usually correct too. I'm telling you right now, Psy Strike for Mewtwo is coming. That's with the boy Fitz the Damn sign off. See you guys in the next Pokemon Go video.